latest. I'm Elizabeth Secker. <laughs> Radio. We know when you're driving a van, you're also driving a business. That's why the Volkswagen Transporter 6.1 comes with App Connect, helping to keep you connected on the go, so you can keep going the extra mile for your customers. <laughs> 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 so you can keep doing the goods and put some distance between you and the competition. Volkswagen Commercial Vehicles, working with you. Mark assist as an optional feature. Driver must pay attention and retain control at all times. Compatible device required. Data charges may apply. Subject to network coverage. Across the UK, online, on DAB, and on your smart speaker. Weekend Breakfast with Penny Smith on Talk Radio. Good morning. Yes, it's been great. We're calling with you for the final hour. It's not been just a moment. We're going to be talking to Tula. Uh, that's um, some classic guitarist. It's a, and then we've got a lovely album. And then we're going to end by talking to Mary Knight Headline. Right, let us talk about duo. Will Cashel and Ben Brook uh, join us now. Good morning to you both. Hello, Penny. Morning. Hello. Hello, hello. Uh, I'm assuming you're in different different places, both of you. Uh, yeah. We're not at the, we're not at the moment actually. I'm I'm at Ben's flat. We were in a bubble together, so I'm over here at the moment. Ah, excellent. So you're both in a, in, in Ben's bubble. Yeah, exactly. Yes. <laughs> so you are guitarists and. Renowned for playing songs you know in ways you probably don't. That's, so kind yeah. of a bit of flamenco, a bit of pop, a bit of classical music. Uh, well, who's going to start then as to how it all happened? Um, shall I? Yeah, all right. Yeah, yeah. Um, so we um, we would you like to? We'll just go from the lockdown, I suppose. We started doing these Friday night flamenco gigs um, at the start of the lockdown, um, and then this this trans this moved into gig in your garden, and we started doing gigs for. for um, key workers, people working on the front line. We just thought it'd be a really nice way to give something back to the people doing some amazing work. So, so far we're on 32, 32nd gig and 17th of Gig in Your Garden, basically, yeah. Well, that's, uh, it's just, I think, I'm, I should say, I've had a listen there to the album Gig in Your Garden and it's just so kind of catchy because you're listening out for those songs to come in. But we talked a bit about the style being a bit of flamenco, a bit of pop, um, and whilst Will, we also heard you've uh, come, you'll be born in England and come through sort of yeah. your uh, college music here. Um, but Ben, you were born in France. Now, was that part of where the, the extra European flavour comes from? It, it, it just making it sound a bit different. Um, I'm not actually sure that the fact that I'm from France turns, you know, the music we're playing. I think we both, um, you know, choose a track that we really like and then we really make it our own by um, just, you know, adding our own technique, some, some classical technique, because we're both classical musicians, and as well some flamenco, flamenco rhythm and a flamenco groove. Um, and basically, you know, um, we really like it. We play the music as we want it to sound. So um, I'm not sure that is because I'm French, but um, <laughs> because it's mostly Spanish music, you see? <laughs> You've got to find a song that will work. Sometimes you can have songs in the charts and they're just not gonna, they might be too slow or they might not be catching up and it just won't really work. So we sort of, we need to sort of have a good old scope and find out what works best. And then once we found a piece, then we're always happy to arrange it and sort of give it our own flavour, as Ben said previously. And Ben, now just to go back to, uh, as we said, you, you met and you formed the duo, what, nine years ago while studying at the Royal Academy and you yes. performed around the world to audiences including British and in the Liverpool Philharmonic, Goodwood, F1, Grand Prix, etc, etc, etc. Is that kind of how you saw your life progressing when you first decided to go to the Royal Academy? Um, no, obviously we, we, we were both so classical guitarists playing only classical music and um, when we graduated from the Royal Academy we found it quite difficult for the classical guitarists to make a, a living. And uh, we moved to more, you know, flamenco, uh, flamenco pop music. Uh, because, you know, it's more rhythmic, it appeals to a bigger public, it's more fun. Um, and, uh, and from that, we got a lot of opportunity coming in. And, um, you know, it's hard to say no to those opportunities. So, 
Yes, that's that's how it happened, you know, the phone ring and somebody want you to play there, so yeah. It's not really how you imagine originally, but And I'm pleased to see it's obviously it's gone from, from strength to strength and, and you know you picked up being signed from great performances on, on TV after the sort of the gigs that the garden you're doing. And, and, and well if we come back to those yeah. gigs in the garden, is is in terms of a, I guess a timeline, how did you come about getting an audience for those gigs so that they knew to, to come and listen to you and, and is it a direct result of those gigs that you're bringing out the album gig in your garden. Yeah, so I mean, it's we started. We had a well, I mean, it's a rel we had a relatively small following to start with, um, but we were doing, as I said, we were doing the online gigs every week, and this slowly sort of just snowballed um, week after week. And then we started doing the gig in garden. This obviously got picked up by the news, etc. Um, and then on from the back of that, we were able to make this really good album. We're really, really proud of. And, and so I guess talking through the album, what are the kind of songs that people can, can expect to hear on it? Everything. Um, yes, there's a, there's a really good mix of everything actually. I mean obviously there's the really popular stuff in there, there's some absolute massive tracks in there. There's also some other, other tracks people wouldn't have necessarily heard quite as much, but we hope that everybody will enjoy um, everything that's on there. It's all, it will appeal to everybody. I tell you what, we're going to hear a little listen to Despacito. Sadly, we don't have the biggest repertoire. We just haven't, guitar just hasn't been around for long enough. Yeah, usually what happens when you're a classical guitarist, you, you rearrange a um, lot of music which has been written, obviously for the lute, but for cello or for violin or for piano. Um, yeah, so, you know, that's actually what we're doing today with pop music that we rearrange on both guitars. But classical musicians do that all the time. You're going to steal a repertoire from other instruments. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and we should mention Yes, so we're going to be giving 50p from every CD sale and 10% digital downloads to the Florence Nightingale Foundation. A very worthy cause, and, and actually it ties in beautifully, doesn't it, with, with the gigs you were doing exactly, the yes. at the beginning. So, and, and, and the album itself then, when and how can people get those things? We've, we've heard from Desposito, but I guess some of the other favourites that jump out were There Is Sex On Fire, Sweet Dreams, um, Somewhere Only We Know, so really great songs to rearrange the guitar with. When and how can people have a listen? Okay, so you can you can basically the, the main album itself is going to be out on February fifth of next year. However, we are bringing out um, we are bringing out singles from the album with music videos, and we're going to be bringing these out every couple of weeks. And the first one of those will be out on November the sixth. Music videos. Yeah, right. we're starting to do a couple of a couple of lockdown music videos. So, so <laughs> then for just describe. Oh, we actually, so we filmed um, the first music video this week actually, and it was great. We went down to Bath because Will is originally from Bath, and you know how around Bath there's so many beautiful places. Um, and uh, we got really lucky because we got an amazing sunset. And I haven't seen the footage yet because, you know, it's still being edited, but where we were looked stunning, and we got this perfect red sunset. And uh, look, really looking yeah, for Walter Reed, I think it's going to look great. We also had all the drones out as well, so yeah, <laughs> got, all, got all the bits. 
Do you know, I think I know what day that was. It was, uh, I think it was a Tuesday or a Wednesday because so many people on my Instagram were posting pictures of it. It, was, it looked like something was on, the, the whole sky was on fire. It, exactly, it was blood, blood yeah, red, yeah, it was lovely. It was beautiful. Bath, of course, were renowned for its flamenco. Of course, every, yes, of course, yeah. Big, fl big flamenco scene down in Bath, I've heard, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I seem to remember Jane Austen writing quite frequently. <laughs> yes, exactly, yeah. Flamenco <laughs> scene. Um, and if I can finally ask, uh, ask both of you, so uh, the future at the moment, uh, despite lockdown, obviously, has not been to, um, uh, I mean, has, has it been difficult for both of you? Um, I would, I mean, yeah, I mean, it, and like, like everybody, every musician at the moment, um, it's really tough, yeah, I mean, work effectively just stopped immediately. So, I mean, we're amongst thousands of people who have just, um, yeah, we just had to keep ourselves busy, basically. But we are eagerly anticipating and waiting for this to stop so we can get back to proper games. Yes. And, um, I mean, obviously, there is the financial situation where we rely on people's generosity. And um, they've been really generous. We got many people donating to us after our gigs and it's been really helpful. But as well, a factor that we don't talk much about is as a musician, you know, we do it by passion, we're always busy, always going places, and we end up being on our sofa having nothing to do. And that's the worst part of it, is having nothing to do. And that's why those gigs in the garden really kept us busy, learning always new repertoire, doing recording, doing video. So it's been actually great. We did the best of the time we had. Now, may, may I also say where you can get, to... oh sorry, okay, yeah, so you can go to duoguitarmusic.com to find the album, or you can also find us at Duo Guitar Music uh, on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and all that sort of Yeah, you can pre-order it already. Yes, and you can already pre-order it from, from those places. Thank you very much. Thank you. Well, and Ben, and Duo. The time is called Fuzzle. Radio. Pretty good, isn't it? Guys, thank you so much for that. That was wonderful. Perfect, thank you very much.